Congratulations on purchasing your new LG Optimus S from Ting. In this five-part video series, we'll be running through everything you need to know to get the most out of your new Android smartphone. You may be asking yourself why we're doing a Ting unboxing with a Sprint-branded phone. Ting uses the nationwide Sprint network to provide its network services, and that also means we need Sprint-approved handsets. Some will have Sprint's logo on them, others won't, so ignore the branding and know that Ting has your back if you ever need any help with your network or your phone. Let's open the box. The first thing we see is the new handset. Pull it out. Remove the cardboard insert to reveal the rest of the package contents. We have a manual, a travel charger, a battery, a micro B USB cable, which we'll use to charge and synchronize the phone with a Mac or PC computer. And we have a micro SD card adapter. Let's have a look at the hardware itself. On the front of the phone, we have a 3.2 inch capacitive touchscreen. Below the screen, we have dedicated hardware buttons for home, menu, back, and search. On the back of the device, we have a 3.2 megapixel camera. Remove the back cover and insert the battery. There's only one way to insert the battery, so you can't get it wrong. Replace the battery back. Plug the travel charger into an electrical outlet. Plug the USB cable into the micro B USB port on the bottom of the phone to charge. The power button sits on top of the LG Optimus S. Press it for a second to power up your phone. The first time you charge up your phone, leave it plugged in for at least a few hours. Here on the top, you'll also find the 3.5mm headphone jack. This can be used to listen to music, and if you have a headset with an inline microphone, you can also make and receive phone calls hands-free. On the left side of the device, we find the micro SD card slot. In addition to your new phone's internal memory, you can add inexpensive micro SD cards up to 32GB in capacity. Your phone comes with a 2GB memory card already installed. To remove the card, press in with the fingernail until you feel a slight click. To reinsert the card, ensure the notched side is on the right and press to insert. On the right side of your phone, you'll find the volume rocker. This is context sensitive. If you're watching a movie or playing a game, it controls the media volume. If you're in a call, it controls the in-call volume. If you're on a home screen, it controls the ringer volume. Below the volume rocker, there's a dedicated button for voice control. Press this to issue commands to your phone with your voice. Below that, there's a dedicated camera button. Press and hold this button for a second to immediately open up your camera. Press again to snap a pic. Be sure to watch the other parts in this five-part Ting startup guide for your new LG Optimus S smartphone. We'll cover off activating your new phone, tying your email account in, using the camera, the browser, and much more. Enjoy your new phone.